it does happen. In fact, you said that it, through yes. DNA evidence. Yep. Through the, they've now realized, you know, people who work on these cases every single day, like say the Southern Poverty Law Center, they say that 50% of the people who are eventually exonerated through DNA testing gave false confessions. You know, they're estimating now that maybe as many as one out of every 10 people executed are innocent. So, you know, if one out of every 10 planes crashed, nobody would fly anymore. Everybody would demand that something be done about it. But since, you know, most people don't know anyone on death row, don't know anyone caught up in the system, it sort of gets swept under the rug. You know, and the one thing I do, I, I, I'm not completely up on the case, but I did, I, I was disappointed to read about a month ago, perhaps, that that it did go to some kind of federal appeal just for Brendan's case, and um, it was turned down. So I believe he's still incarcerated. Um, 